previously on Armed and Famous. Five Hollywood celebrities came to Muncie, Indiana. Finally well, get something good. To become actual working police officers. Yeah. Recording artist and author Latoya Jackson. Oh, no, don't, please don't do this. Overcame her biggest fear, cats. Are you ready for this? Yes. On her journey to become one of Muncie's finest. Touch the cat. Touch the cat. Jackass star Jason Wimanakuna. That's my boyfriend. Did you know anything about this gun? No. Helped a young girl get out of trouble. We're going to let you go. I think it was a good learning lesson for her. From the Osbournes, Jack Osborne. Please take right out. Met one of Muncie's biggest troublemakers. He scared my place, though. But with no one filing charges, he let him off the hook. Tom, um, okay. WWE champion Trish Stratus. Stop. So he just cooperated. Learned a hard lesson from her partner. She couldn't get her handcuffs on him right. Screwed up. Missed a hand up. And turned into a better cop. Get in the car. This is not just training. Real things happen out there. And international television icon Eric Estrada. Turn up the engine. Chased down a burglar. Don't move. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> and lost his temper. You got a choice to do what you want to do with your life. He hit the wrong button at the wrong time. So I went off on him. Real crimes, real criminals. Get back, you're going to jail. In the car. Watch your head. Real rookies with a lot left to learn. Calm down. Calm down. These five celebrity cops are armed and famous. Tonight we're going to be doing a prostitution sting. Lieutenant Al Williams is going to explain to you exactly what we're going to be doing. I've been talking to the neighbors in the East Central Indiana, constantly complaining about the prostitution and the Johns. So tonight, I'm going to use you guys to assist us in an undercover operation. Latoya and Estratus, we're going to put you undercover out on the street. The police station decided to do a prostitute scene. Trish and I were there to walk the streets of Muncie, taking turns uh, being a prostitute. Latoya, you're going to be walking this stretch right here. This is where we're set up. The more the Johns are out there, the more the hookers are going to be out there, and it's a really bad problem here. I have a question. The Johns that usually come around, are they usually armed or just... You should think that they are armed, obviously. Officer Brown and Estrada, you guys are going to be the takedown vehicle. No John is going to hurt these two girls. Not on my watch. Nervous? There was fear inside of me, and it's kind of frightening. Because you don't know when these Johns drive up if they're going to have a gun in their hand, a knife in their hand, if they're going to pull you in the car. Be careful. All right. Officers Jackson and Stratus about to go undercover as Muncie prostitutes. This is Muncie. We have a crack problem here. Our girls do not look like probably what you guys are used to. Mm -hmm. They're dirty, no makeup. Mm -hmm. The nastier, the better. The outfit was retro hooker. This is the part of the job. We gotta do it. Basket wash jeans, baggy sweaters. Okay. <laughs> we added some roots to the hair. We tried to yellow out my teeth a little bit. Um, I don't think it's possible for your teeth to get yellow. <laughs> <laughs> we look like just really bad days. Just remember, don't get in the car. When they come up to make contact with you guys, like I said, the first thing they're always going to try to do is get you in the car. Only thing you have to say is, I'm not getting in the car with you. Somebody beat my ass before and I don't get in the car. Make sure the deal is good before you have your takedown cars come in. All right, be careful out there, guys. Let's go. I'll be able to speak to you through this. Just stick it in? Uh-huh. There was surveillance set up in a house right on the street where we were hooking. Thank you. Thank you, my fellow ho. <laughs> Heading into the street, I really felt like I was going to pick up a John. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Walk across the street to your left. I'm a little nervous, but I want to make sure that I don't give myself away. Damn, this girl needs to get paid. Wait till you say 20 and they say 5. I think I can do this, you know. I know how to strut. I know how to turn on the charm. 
and I think I can take someone down. We we'll just sit and wait, and hopefully we we'll get a get a bite on this thing. Just say, what's going on? What you doing? Are you sure you're not a cop? You sure you're not a cop? My dead mother's grave. I ain't no cop. All right, then. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Just so you know, I ain't no cop. I'm talking to you. Say, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Do you want to go with me? Well, I got a place right here. Just tell me what you want. What do you want? You have a good evening. All right. You did a good job. You didn't do anything wrong. The guy thought it was a cop, which actually made me feel pretty good. Because, you know, for the first time, I'm not a wrestler, I'm not a pretty face. I was an actual police officer. Are you ready, girlfriend? Yeah. Use your big girl voice, OK? Use your big girl's voice. Sometimes when I get afraid, it goes way up there. So I have to remember, don't let them intimidate you like that. Is this too far out? Or? This is fine right there. Get me a John. Don't worry about it. OK. I will just do what I need to do. There you go. You got a big girl voice now. There you go. You want me to get in? Pull around the parking lot, and I'll meet you in the back. You did a good job. Big girl voice. What's up? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? I don't know how much. 20? I don't have that much money. You don't have that much money? Say how much you got. You, you said 10? No. Well, OK, I'll do it for 10. I can't get in. The last time I got in, somebody beat me. I'm not one of those. They meet me at my apartment. Okay, meet me at my apartment. I can't leave my kids. I have two kids. Oh, I'm not in He wanted me to get into his car, but a police officer isn't allowed to do that, so he took off. What's up? What you doing? Oh, you, you want a man? Sound just as good as a man. I'm just as good as a man. What can I do for you? Well, to offer him a discount. You doing what? Well, you masturbating? Yeah, it seems good, doesn't it? He's talking to me, and he's pleasuring himself. Just talk to him. We're going to take him down. Yeah. Just continue to talk to him, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Honey, we're coming in, okay? We're coming in. All right. <laughs> Come in the house, Cap. Don't run down there. Oh, my God. Latoya! I went chasing after this guy because I wanted him. Why can't I go up there? Oh, we got to use you again. Oh, with your hands. So get, get out of the car. car. Get out, out of the car. car. Face the car right now. Sure, what are you doing? What are you right. doing over here tonight, sir? Get in the boat, girl. Came over to get some gas. How come your pants are unzipped? Well, I don't know. You don't know? No. No? Get in the car. It felt so great to actually seeing someone. This guy who's doing something totally obscene and illegal. He was pleasuring himself right there where there were churches, children. That was quite upsetting for me to experience that. And I had blessed him. I had him. And what were you doing when you ran down the road? I wanted to catch him. You were after him that bad? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to catch him. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer. Are you willing to waive these rights and answer questions at this time? No. All right, you don't got to answer questions, but I'm going to tell you something. You are masturbating in no, front of a police officer no, who is Latoya Jackson, a police officer. That's what you were doing. You know you were doing it, weren't you? No, I have nothing else to say. I said, no, and that's it. That's it? That's right. I want you to meet Officer Latoya Jackson, Hi, sir. Hi, Mr. Jackson. I, um, I'm, the, I'm the lady that you were uh, doing that well, indecency to. You and me. I just want you to know I that I don't want you to do that again to anybody else. I have nothing to say to you. Well, you're going to have to say a lot to the judge real soon. Latoya has basically changed in front of everyone's eyes. Anybody that would have thought she's not taking this job seriously and she couldn't do this job, she proved them wrong tonight. How proud are you, right? You like proud I'm mama? so proud of you. Both the girls, Trish and LaToya, did an excellent job tonight, and I'm sure this was a, a very scary experience for them. Nothing that they're, they're used to, and they did a great job. Toy, wash up. Take care, Eric. 55. You were so good. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. That Thank was you. so great. Well, so great. We got it. West 11, subject stabbing. Woman stabbed boyfriend in the leg. They're 
They're advising a female has called and says she stabbed her boyfriend in the leg. Boyfriend intoxicated, refusing assistance. Officers on scene have boyfriend in handcuffs. We get a call, a domestic dispute, there's a stabbing. Can you tell us what happened? Well, we got the call it, that his girlfriend has stabbed him in the leg, so he's, he's trying to change the story now, and that's what we're trying to get sorted out. Oh, that's right. He probably doesn't want anything to go down. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was really just nasty, foul mouth, and everything else. If you'd have gone earlier, you wouldn't be bleeding like this. Okay, well, okay, well, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. No, 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 I wasn't having it. No, 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 you talk about my mother, you definitely push my buttons. Don't tell no. the Sarge. Oh, yeah, my lips are sealed. Okay. But you know, he was here. You saw it? He has a way of finding things out. Coming up next. Uh, yes, please. He wants to talk to me pronto. 10 p.m. Five celebrities looking more like real cops every night. What are you doing right now? Nothing. Let's shave my head. You want it? Yeah. I wanted to shave my head when I got out here. I figured if I was going to be a cop, I might as well look like a cop. Yeah. Look at your hair. We dog barbershop. <laughs> Best one in town. Bird. Do you want to see the world's fastest haircut? Shazam! Hey, Eric, step into the chair, bub. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. bite me to both of you. Come on. <laughs> 605, this is complaint of eyes of Bruce Duncan, battered him. He's 1056, has blood all over him. We receive a call that there's two people fighting in an alleyway outside a house. Kicking the crap out of each other. Let's see what's going on. You're fine. fine right now. I cannot believe what I saw. The girl looks like something out of a 1970s slasher horror movie. What you would imagine someone looking like after they just took a chainsaw to the side of a cow. She was covered in blood. How much of this blood is your blood? Mine. This well, is all well, your blood. Well, actually, it's well, you uh, me. some girls at the bar. You. It's some girls in the bar oh, and some of yours. Uh, both okay. of them, yeah. Okay. Actually, there were two. Okay. And some of it's mine, some of the other two. <laughs> he stepped in between us. We ended up getting backhanded, elbowed. It was obvious this was a fake story. We looked around, there was broken bottles all over the house, and the call we got was two people fighting in an alleyway, not in a bar. So we knew that they were fighting each other, but they just didn't want to go to jail and potentially lose their kids. I'm not going nowhere, hey, 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 Listen, hey, you're going to go where hey, I tell you to go. You can go hey, easy hey, or hard, doesn't hey, matter to me. Look, hey. Give each other a kiss. You guys are going up there together. They're kissing and loving each other like it was all okay and nothing had happened at all. It was very, very weird. What's your yeah. name? Come here. Tammy. Tammy Brandon. We ran her name. Tamara Brandon comes back positive for a signal 40, failure to pay. Came back positive for a warrant. So now we have to arrest her. You have a warrant. For what? You, you're a failure to appear for a battery oh. charge. Battery charge. All my kids need to go with my mom. Station. Hey. Mom, the kids are safe. This is really, really screwed up. I'm, I, yeah. I, just, I need no, a drag, please. No, no, you're in custody. Oh, please, one, one, break quick, neck, quick. Again. She's like a baby bird feeding from a mother. 
on her tiptoes, hands cuffed behind her back, trying to get this cigarette and have like half a drag before we take her away to jail. Okay. Come on. Come on. I will. We ran his name. It came back positive for a warrant for assault and battery, and he never paid court fees. The whole scenario was just insane. We'll be back together. I love you. I love you. Right, oh, God, watch the head, please. I am. I, I am. Oh. I'm, all right. Oh, that I'm, hurt. I'm trying not to let you hit it, so I won't hurt even oh. more. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, you wipe wiping blood all over our seat. No, I need to open. I'm sorry. And don't wipe that shit on me either. I'm not going to wipe it on me. All right. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. And you wanted to have your kids kiss you? She looks in the mirror, the rearview mirror, and she sees herself and starts crying. Yeah. Hi. It's all right. We'll get you to the hospital. We'll get you cleaned up. You're going to be out of there tonight, tomorrow morning. It was probably the craziest call I've gone on since I've been here in Muncie. on a call that someone had broken into a church and we didn't know if, if the suspect was still there or not. Any alarm call, you always want to treat it as if it was a possible burglary. So you would have your handgun in a, a safe, ready position. Okay? I don't know how they told you to do it, but I usually do it like yeah, this. Yeah, that's how we do okay. it. Okay. Just make sure that you're pulling all the doors and watch your corners, okay? All I kept thinking was, please don't have a gun. This is like God's home. Don't. <laughs> Doors. Yeah, open door. Now just the, the door's oh. open. There's an open. Six oh eight. We have an open door. We're gonna be going in. We're in the building. Ready to go. Okay. Right behind us. Okay. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay. 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 Are you clear? Yeah. I basically stayed low. I dodged. I weaved. I felt like I was on a SWAT team. You never know what's in here. I am totally amazed with Latoya's tactical style. She was literally in there like a Charlie's Angels going. And I... I don't know, but it, it looked silly. <laughs> We're clear. Let's go out. You can holster up now. <laughs> we secured everything and made sure everything was fine, but how frightening that was. But I don't know if my form was that good. You don't need to squat down so much. That whole squatting down stuff to me is more for like the SWAT team. That's what so I they look too. cool. I know. <laughs> but you're getting good. We're driving away from the church and all of a sudden we see the exact same guy that tried to get me into his car last night. Doing the exact same thing. Okay, I'll do it for 10. Yeah, I'm not going to hurt you. And boy, was I ready for him. Amy. Okay. I need you to step out the car, sir. I was working as a prostitute last night. Yes. And you know that. Yes. You drove up to me several times, and you said $10. You asked me how much I charge. I said $20. You told me that was too much. Yes. And you said, get in the car then. Are you doing the same thing tonight? No. You're not doing the same thing tonight? No. Put your hands behind your back. You're lying to me, and I don't like that. You are supporting crackhead's habit, and you know that's what you're doing. I don't want to see you out here tomorrow night, because if I do, I'm going to have to arrest you. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, get on your way. We had actually no reason to arrest him, but uh, this guy better remember what I said, because if I see him again, I'm really going to nail him. Hi. Uh, tea, please. I see a newspaper, and I see me like. Oh, 
Oh, man. Celebrity officer Estrada assisted at the scene and eventually became involved in a shouting match with an exchange of obscenities. Oh, man. I'm going to eat the big one on this one, I'm sure. The problem with being a celebrity and a cop is that we're under the microscope. A super-duper high-intensity driven microscope. Yes, Chief. And the chief called me. He says, I want to see you as soon as possible, like right now. Yes, sir. Woke up this morning, and this is what I see on the front page of the newspaper. That's not what I expect to see in the morning. He barks at me about eight times, and then he goes off on my mother. You're going to hear worse things than talk about your mother if you continue to do this. If you don't get involved in that type of behavior, it will not escalate to that point. Just remember this. You've got to control the situation. Don't let the situation control you. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. It won't happen again. I did something that I hope doesn't shine too bad a light on the department. Hey. Good work out there. That was a pretty tough call, I know. We'll be fine, okay? Thank Thanks you. for coming up so soon. Thank you. See you later. All right. I should have not uh, lost my cool, but I've apologized, and it certainly will not happen again. Coming up next. Can you find a little bit of grace, no, Mary? Get away from me! No! At 6 p.m., five celebrity cops are keeping the peace. Officer Acuna is keeping his word. Pass the firm. It's on the left on the corner. Yep, there it is. I get a call from the chief to go on special assignment. He says, two little person, twin girls, want you to come meet them. Their mom asked if I would come and say hello and give them a little, uh, life ain't bad talk. Come for me, like, that'd be a great talk. We girls. We girls. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm, I'm Jason. Jean. Nice Wee to meet man. you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, girls. Madison and Mackenzie. He's like, Hi, nice girls. to shake his hand. <laughs> hello. How old are you girls? Sure. You guys are, uh, works just like me, huh? Mm -hmm. Their mom noticed at about five, the girls started wondering how come they're different from their friends. Mass one time said she didn't want to be a little person anymore. This year getting into school was an adjustment, especially for Madison. Do you guys go to little people conventions and stuff? We haven't gone to the con national conventions yet because I thought I'd wait until they were a little bit older. I went about seven or eight. And that was the first time I actually saw other little people. I, I was confused at first. And, that, and then it was like how I tell my mom, like, I don't need to go hang out with other little people. I like the friends I have and all that. But then even schools would tell my mom, like, you know he's going to have trouble here and, you know, people are going to pick on him. But it never really happened. Their mom felt like bringing me over would like boost their spirits. So that's what I did. Oh, what's that? What's that? What are you doing? Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Oh, oh, boom, you're tough. Can I get a hug? Give me a hug. Uh, so I came over and they had a blast. It was fun. All right, girls, I'm gonna go back and keep the city safe, all right? They're the cutest things in the world. So we get a call for a domestic dispute, and basically the the girl and the guy were fighting. We dash back to the house. Come on, come on. Get ran through the back door. Come on, buddy. Were you in here causing problems with your wife here? 
No, we had a, a disagreement about my daughter in the bathtub because the shampoo was burning her eyes, so uh -huh. I got her out the tub. Uh -huh. She was giving my daughter a shower with grown-up shampoo right there. This tub. is my daughter. I know how to wash her hair. Am I here be over baby shampoo? See the way you guys are communicating? Mm -hmm. That's got to stop. Like, you guys, you can't be yelling like that. Your kids are inside. Like, you... All this is about shampoo. <laughs> ain't no physical. Ain't no violence. It's about... My daughter's eyes burning from so shampoo. I, okay, so if I make sure that you use baby shampoo, you should be okay here? Yeah. <laughs> she agrees, yeah. <laughs> we go on so many calls where there's nothing to do but arrest people. And this one, the argument was so stupid, but the solution was so simple. Hey, buddy, you want to um, you wanna come with me? We can get you a cup of coffee and... Uh... I ain't going to jail, man. No, you're not going to jail. Come on. So we put him in the car. We didn't arrest him, but I decided to teach him a lesson. A love lesson. This is what I'm talking about right here. All the celebrities we got in town, I get stuck with the Dr. Phil one I'm being. We got it. Okay, and you know what? This whole thing started over. Shampoo. Right? Right. We're gonna get you some baby shampoo, not the adult shampoo, not the kind that burns the eyes. Starts with I'm sorry and ends with you're right. <laughs> hey. everyone's problems. I think that's why I made so much of this call. A little TLC and a little baby shampoo was all this couple needed. It worked, didn't it? Trish is great. Police officers don't do that. They don't really sit here and try to work things out and she worked everything out for us. You can't be that nice to everybody. Let me make a deal with you. I won't be that nice to everybody if you're just nice to somebody. All right, deal. I ain't buying nobody flowers. Okay. 61, you're the only one going. 608, we're in the area. 608, on loud music. They're going on all day. Carrot? Yeah, it's totally good. We get this noise complaint because there's this drama just playing away very loudly. Let me ask you, why did you call the police? If you want to listen to that, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. that's all I hear. I can't even hear my TV. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're yeah. It's the same song over and over. <laughs> <laughs> song, I know that he's disturbing peace. I know it's wrong, and we're definitely going to do something about it. All right. Okay? All right. I think they heard. Hi, how are you? Fine. Hi. Good. Hello. You know why we we were called, don't you? I am guessing it's because we were playing loud. Yeah. Okay. If we continue to keep having come out here, then you're facing an arrest for disorderly conduct because you're disturbing the peace. I know what it's like when you want to play. Coming from a family of musicians and the whole bit, you got to get your windows padded. you got to get the walls padded. This way, it'll keep the sound in. Right. And from a musical family, and musical background, as you well know. And I tell him, Adam, you gotta stop this. You, you have to bring this noise down. I understand you wanna play. Okay, where do you guys play? Right here? No, you're back there. So... Are you coming back there? Yeah, come back here. Okay, okay. we'll come back. <laughs> this is where Pretty you guys small. play? That's okay. You know the Jackson 5 started in Gary, Indiana. And they performed in a room like this every single day. Fortunately, the neighbors like the music, so I know what your passion is. I know what it's like. But if you want to stay out of jail, right. or stay out of trouble, have to. get it done. Yeah, sure. So they wanted to play something for me. And I told them, as long as you keep it down and everything isn't so loud and get your walls padded, that uh, I'd give a listen. There'll be better days I'm so glad LaToya saved the day When 
this ship sails find her destiny. I was just grooving to his music. It was good. I liked it a lot. However, at the same time, my duty was to serve as an officer. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. That was fine. Very nice. But really, Adam, we will have to come back and arrest you if you're playing because we are here to enforce the law, and that's what it's all about. You take all care right. of yourself. Bye, Bye, Adam. Bye, Bye Adam. I hope I don't have to come back. I met Latoya Jackson. That was that was unreal. That was pretty awesome because I've always I've always been a big fan. Well, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. domestic situation. Two sisters are going at each other. Has anybody been hurt? No. Or is this argument? Just argument. Grab me by the throat. She grabbed you by the throat? Can you come up here a little bit closer so we can see you? But she grabbed me by the throat and caught me. Yeah. I had her like with the throat like this. But I did she not have grab me by the throat. Did she strike you at all? No, she knows better than to strike me. I was trying to leave with my son, and she wants to sit there and tell me she's going to call child protection on me because I want to leave with my son. She wants to call child protection on me because my son has a viral infection, and every time he goes and farts, he uh, has diarrhea, and he has an infection. The really pathetic and sad thing about the situation is you got two sisters barking at each other. These two kids are fighting about something that can be resolved, and I thought it was just ridiculous. I told her she did not need to take that baby. She told me to stop acting like a bitch. And that's when I went up on her. All right, when you said that. I told her, he was my son, I'm taking him in. Right. Did she use the word? Not until after she sat there and told me she was going to All right. Mary. All right. Mary, Mary, please come over here, Mary. You know, you guys are sisters. Come I don't here. care. This is a tough one, partner. I wanted to get them all the, the hug, forgive each other. You just go ahead and apologize from the heart, and we'll see how she reacts. If she reacts negative to it, then there's nothing else you can do. Mary, Stay away from me. No, I'm sorry for what I said to you, and I'll never say it again. The youngest sister was not having it. She was really angry. Mary, your sister came over. I don't care. She said never call me. She's I'm sorry for it. She me by the throat. That was her first mistake. She says she's sorry. I don't care. She's sorry. No, no, she's this not has, Can you find a little bit of grace no. in there? She can stay here. I believe it. No, it's not right. Right. I don't worry. That was most definitely not right. Those are just words. So she's cursing me to get out of her face. I mean, she just was going off. You've got to control the situation. Don't let the situation control you. I said, uh-uh, I'm not going to go there. I am not going to go there again. Mary. Can she you... can stay here. I'm leaving. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But just before you leave, can I say just a little something? Mary! Mary! Leave me alone. Don't follow me into my house. Mary! I told the chief that I was I apologetic about what happened and it never happened again. And I proved to myself that it will never happen again. You don't want to talk that way anyway. You got children. You don't want them talking that way. No. You got to be an example for them. You got to be their hero, okay? And you must think that way. Yeah. All right, I'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank she you. went to the ringer with you. Yeah, she did. She tried to ring my bell. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson, and I practiced it, and I put it to the test tonight, and it worked. I will never lose it again, ever. Good. Good job. Coming up next. Now stop it. Hey, relax. Hey, I'm getting you guys. Oh, yeah. He's getting paved. Oh, 1 a.m. Five celebrity cops work the night shift when anything can happen. We're out here doing a welfare check. Um, 
the gentleman's place of work called. Uh, there was a concern because he'd been sick for the last couple of days. And he's an older gentleman, and basically he didn't show up for work today, and uh, they said that's unlike him. Hi. Hi. Do you guys know Mike? Yeah. Okay, I did hear him come home this morning. You did him this morning? I heard his truck. Okay. We're just going to check, make sure he's all right. Yeah, that's good. Please fire it. He was dead. Yeah. Officer, we don't look like he might broken in harm. He was right. sitting. Fucking just sat there and died. That's yeah. what it looks like. Chances are he's been there most of the day. It's obviously unexpected, and I don't know how I could have prepared for it. Um, and I guess you don't prepare for it. It's just something you do, and you go, and you deal with it, and it's part of the job. Looks like he had, some, he had something for his flu. He was sick. Suspicious, natural. Nothing suspicious about it, no. No, it looks... Nothing suspicious right now. His wife and his stepdaughter showed up. This is Sheila. This is Sheila. Hi, Sheila. I'm sorry. He was really sick for a couple of days. You tell me, I didn't know. We don't live together. Oh. How long have you been separated? Oh, for a long time. We're uh -huh. still good friends. You know? Yeah. Like, uh. They started to tell me about Mike. You know what a great grandfather he was, and how he was the grandson's father figure, and you know how he was a hard worker. He worked at the factory and never missed a day of work. So it was kind of sad to be talking about someone who now is gone. Sheila, just so you know, it did nothing was suspicious in here, and we checked that out right away. It looked like he was just sitting here. Are you sure he's dead? Yeah, he's, he's been he's passed for a while. Okay. Okay. Let them go ahead. And, you okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you, you've been so sweet. Well, good luck. You should know he went peacefully. I think so. Okay. You need me, I'll be around too, okay? Okay. It made me, at the end of the night, kind of go, you know what, every day is important, and, you know, any day can be your last day. I, I didn't expect that. It's like the routine call turned into that. Makes you appreciate life a little bit more, doesn't it? Yeah. So we get this call. It's a domestic dispute. We hear it's about a knife. Okay, is this the house? The guy just took off. And we see this guy running away. Hey, sir, put your hands up on top of your head. Where are you going? Where are you going? What's your name? And what do you know? It's Mike. Take your cigarette out, buddy. Put it out. Jack met him the first night, a patrol. He was in a fight with his friend. He cares my place up. You can see that. I'm gonna go home. Okay. And Jack let him go. He just wants to go home. But since then, we've learned that he's one of Monty's biggest troublemakers. This time, we weren't going to let him go. Put your hands on your back. You have a warrant, don't you, Michael? No. no. Stop! Stop right there, or I'm going to... Now stop it. Acting stupid. Stand up. Hey, I told you to stop. Get him up, please, man, please. 29 on Michael Horn. Stop! Give her that. We're letting you up. Do what she's telling you. He was resisting and we couldn't get the cuffs on, so the Sarge stepped in with a taser. He's getting tased. Stop kidding! Oh, oh. Son of a He's not doing the tase. He was on something, I don't know, maybe crack, maybe something else, I don't know, but the taser didn't have that much of an effect. Put your hand back or you're going to get Don't it again. Don't touch him. I'm in the mud. I'm in the mud. Mike, just yeah, relax. I know. Just relax. Hey, you all, man. Stop. That's why yeah, I got him. I'll get you guys, man. Here, put another set of cuffs. Huh? I no, do. I have another. Mike. Mike, do you have any weapons on you? Well, yeah. Mike, man. Mike, 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 Mike,
What? Look, what are you okay. on me for? Well, stop. Okay, you're not going to the hospital. Why? Because you're not sick, you're on crack or whatever the hell you're on. Oh, whatever. Okay, can you tell me what happened? Okay, he had the radio blaring, and I went upstairs and I asked him to turn it down, and he told me, bitch, leave. And then he oh, went back into his door, came back out, had a black handle knife on him, okay. came downstairs, and then when he started to come downstairs, he tossed it, came downstairs, and then pushed me. We wouldn't have said anything, because they're loud every night, and I know he's tired. Okay, he, right he does that all the time. Yeah, he, he, he gets high all the time. And high yeah, there's. Yeah, and it's they crack that he's yep. they yeah. do. Okay, get in. I try to get in my house, my bitch. Be good, boy. Okay, so he gets upset. No, stop! You're gonna hurt yourself, and then you really are gonna have to go to the hospital. Hey, what am I gonna for, man? Hey, what am I gonna do? Because of the way you're behaving. And at the very end, there he is, still acting and behaving the way he was always, banging his head on the cage of the car. So here's a crack pipe right here, and this is probably what he had been smoking with. We've gotten enough evidence on him, so we're pretty good. I didn't know exactly what this particular drug can do to an individual, and now I see what it does. Yeah, I have this too. I gotta tell you, I learned my lesson, and I learned it well. Huh. The chief said he didn't want to see my face on the front of the newspaper again. I redeemed myself to myself. Yeah. I kind of find that I'm, I learned something, you know, new from my partner, and I just feel like more confident and sort of each time I go out there. And I am so proud to be protecting people because a lot of us at the table, we grew up where people protect us. Now we have to secure the people in the street, so that makes me feel really great, and I'm so happy about that. It's a learning lesson. Fame Games. Let's see if you have the panache to win over a live audience. The Fame Gamers must perform. Ron's our opening act, and he choked on his own winner. That was so humiliating. But not everyone plays by the rules. I'm calling for disqualification. He ruined it for us. The Surreal Life Fame Games. It's a fight to the famousest. This is how it's done. An all-new episode tomorrow at 9, only on VH1. For more surreal footage, go to vspot at vh1.com.